going to try to clip some of these Rosa Sharon's. It is very rainy, which is um, very slippery on the rocks, but some of the flowers that I would like to get are up a little higher, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, I'm not in the best feet, uh, shoe gear. <laughs> I'm wearing flip-flops in the rain, but um, and it is raining, so I'm going to try to get up there the best I can. Now let's arrange them. Get out of the rain. <laughs> Hi everyone. So today it is really raining outside, but I braved the rain and I went outside and went out and decided to do some flower arranging today. Just a simple quick video. These were from our garden and I just want to show you if you grow these things in your yard, any kind of flowers in your yard, you can make really beautiful arrangements. So, what I'm using today is tape of any kind. I usually use scotch tape, but this is what I had upstairs, this tape. And actually, if you recognize this tape, this is what we use to mark the um, lines here for the grout lines for our brick. So, I always have these on hand. They're very cheap from Walmart, but even scotch tape is probably even better because it's clear. But I have this lovely blue glass pitcher, and I'm going to use that as a base for our hydrangeas. And then I have a glass pitcher. I don't always do glass because you can see the stems, but I think it's going to be okay. So, what I'm going to do is just make like a crisscross pattern on the vase or pitcher, whatever you decide to use. You really can use anything, a piece of pottery. As long as it's able to hold water without leaking, it can be really a lovely uh, statement piece. So, now here's the trick of trying to find where the tape was, the line. And I'm doing like a, almost like a tic-tac-toe pattern. I think that too short. No, okay. Because then you can stick the, in between and it makes it look, look a lot more full. Okay, so now this is the part where I just cut them in a messy way, but this is where I maybe kind of bring all the leaves off of it. I just need some good snippers. flop over. You might want to pull those towards the middle. If you have picked some flowers from your garden a while before that, and they still look okay, but you don't want to just stick them in water. You want to maybe recut them. I did it literally just moments ago, but I like to recut them also to size it. But these beautiful snowball hydrangeas, and hydrangeas are from our garden, and they're so lovely. There's so many of them, so it's good to pick them every now and then to put in a vase because they're pretty to look at. But also, we 
kind of clean up the, the bush a little bit. And some I picked when they weren't quite white yet because I like that little bit of green in there. I leave them dry because I like to dry them out so I have a dry bouquet in the uh, fall but I'm going to put water in them soon but I'm going to work on this one first and again I'm just going to do that pattern these are Flock and Rose of Sharon from the garden. I'm going to do another arrangement. They look kind of sparse alone, but once you put them all together, it's really lovely. So when I see these dead buds, I just pull them off and thin them out. grasses. Sometimes it's nice to just put them in between as a little filler. Just adds a little height and drama to your arrangement. You don't have to. You can do it without. I just like to. Now we're going to put some water in them and find a lovely place for them to go.
there everyone. Well, it was a quick video this week. We were doing a flower arrangement. Um, Paul is doing great for all of those who might be wondering. He had his surgery a couple days ago and he's doing great. So for this week, we wanted to keep it very simple because we're taking care of somebody. So um, Paul is not with me. I miss him next to me on this outro today. So we kept it pretty simple this week um, because we're taking care of Paul. So um, today on this rainy, very rainy day, I decided to brave the weather and go out and cut some flowers. So our beautiful floral arrangements were from our garden. Um, all you really need is a really pretty vase of some kind, any receptacle that's water um, that can hold water and not leak. Also, um, some beautiful flowers, however you want it. You can do a beautiful wildflower arrangement or some even more particular flowers, I'll say. Um, my favorites are hydrangeas. Um, I will usually leave these in water for a short time and then I will change it over to letting the water out and I will let them dry out and they are really lovely dried in the fall. So this is usually a thing I do in August. So I leave them in water for a while. Sometimes into October, I have them in a vase in water and I slowly let them dry out and I put them in arrangements around the autumn time. So that is what we did for this week. Next week, we have some big things coming. It'll be myself and my son, Jacob. We'll be doing some projects around the home for the next few weeks and this particular um, next video coming up is one that we've been working on a little at a time and we hope that we can finish it up for you. It's a big one for Jake and I but we're very excited for it. I wanted to say thank you for joining us. If you like this video please thumbs up it and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be notified so you don't miss any of our videos. Leave a comment, a question, whatever you'd like. We'll be happy to answer them to the best that we can. And of course, if, you can, if you'd like to, please subscribe. If you like this type of video where you make floral arrangements or any of our videos where we're redoing uh, rooms in our cottage home, or you just want to see a find that we find on the side of the road and redo, anything like that, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you for joining us at Brambleberry Cottage.